So let's take a look at these two examples. It's the same controller coming from Tinkercad. In one case, it's coming through Send2, uh, so it's native fusion geometry. And in the other case, it's uh, an export from Tinkercad of an OBJ file, which is a mesh, the one on the top. So let me just turn on some visual styles here to see this. As you see here, for example, there is one face, another face here, the curved one, and one edge between both of them. If we look at the same piece in, in the mesh, what we have is a bunch of triangles, right? Which either edges or vertices of those triangles converge into something that you could eventually assume as an edge. But if, for example, you want to do a fillet, the fillet will try to look for an edge. And this is an edge that it can understand, it can compute, it can do everything you want on it. If you look at the mesh, it's, first of all, it just won't work. If I convert the mesh to a solid, which is possible, it will still keep all of these little facets. So each of, I feel that in that case, it will be done over just one little piece of that edge and not the whole thing. It's highly inconvenient. It's something that you really don't want, right? So and this is why my suggestion is to not use the meshes. Use centrifusion and get the native geometry. If you have a, a mesh, for example, like an, an STL import in Tinkercad and you really want that thing to come into fusion, of course, at that time, bring the mesh too. But everything that's made of basic shapes, bring them with Sentu, which will give you the most data integrity of, of that object.